Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 27th, the 26th, something like that. I think it's, you know, I think it's at the beginning of the week, okay? I, I don't know why. I just wanted to say the 27th. Today is the 25th, so I, I don't know why. Could be any day. I'm not God. I don't get to choose. So, what do we got? What do we got for a message? This reading may or may not be for you. This reading is not sign specific and it is not time specific. Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. Well, we know the Ten of Swords is the end. It is. It's the end of a difficult situation that has probably been pretty painful. Wow. It's like, look at this. This thing is like stepping right through the roof. It's like going through the roof. Something is, something is going through the roof here. Take a look at that. It's like something is happening at home. Probably it has to, it could definitely have to do with your home. It's like, ah. Uh, something crazy this is crazy wow yeah it's time this is it this is too late now you're gonna have to go someplace else huh ten of swords wow this is big it is definitely big something is happening it's crazy and it's it's almost like it's a catastrophe i'm sorry i'm not trying to scare anybody but this is like wow it's a wow moment okay it just it is unbelievable okay this is unbelievable now the ten of swords is an ending and it's and it's something that could end it could be it could be traumatic it could be a traumatic ending uh, something goes through a house I don't know what it is something to do with a house or a home it could be within your home it's like you didn't even see it coming all of a sudden there's this shake up at home and somebody could get hurt I don't know what the hell is going on here um, ooh this is discontent it's funny because when I picked up this deck this was the card that I that I pulled out. Okay, it is. I put, I had it right in my hand and looked at it. We have somebody here that is not happy. They it looks as though they are doing paperwork or they're thinking about writing something. They're thinking about uh, maybe writing in a, a letter to somebody, having a hard time not knowing what to say. Uh, maybe thinking about an apology. Um, or thinking about, I don't know, this could be a resignation, it could be a goodbye letter. Somebody is thinking about uh, how to handle a situation. And it's like they're thinking about putting it on paper. Um, somebody is probably thinking or writing some sort of letter. Okay. Somebody. Hmm. Now this is the sun card. Look at this. The sun is the sun is coming up here. Is this is some waking up? Somebody is waking up. Going through an awakening. Something you may get some sort of information early in the morning, okay, as the sun comes up. Something could happen at night and you get the information in the morning when the sun comes up. You get the message. Here it's dark, yeah. I think that there could be something that happens at night and somebody gets a message, you know, as the sun is coming up. Hmm. The death card reversed. Now I'm not, I'm wondering if somebody somebody is going to pass away. I'm just going to be honest here because I, I, I it's who I am. Okay. 
And the death card in reverse could absolutely be a death. This could be a disaster, okay? And this could be a disaster. It feels like there, there's somebody that, there could be an accident, there could be an incident or an upheaval in somebody's life, in their home life or something like that. Um, there, this could also be a, a near-death experience as well. I do believe that there is somebody is going to receive a message in the morning and I'm not sure what morning it is and it this message may have to do with um, some sort of disaster that has struck now this the ten of swords can is sometimes it does look like a death and and then we have the death card over here and so you know it feels like there is some something that is ending quite quite um shockingly okay this is a this is definitely a shocking ending right here it really is so um it's like it just comes out of nowhere it does come out of no nowhere we have somebody here that is not happy this person is not happy they're feeling like something is missing. And maybe they get some sort of epiphany. And maybe they go through some they're going through some sort of transformation. Death is a card of transformation. And sometimes you have to let go of things from your past or you have to let go of things that no longer serve you and that's considered a death, okay? This is an awakening, and this is extreme bliss. This is seeing the light, okay? The sun is seeing the light. This is enlightenment. So somebody may be going through a period of enlightenment after some sort of crazy situation unfolds that, you know, causes them to do so. Now, this is a new day. This is a new beginning, the sun card. So yeah, we do have a new beginning here. After a death or a near death experience. So yeah, we do have a new beginning here. The magician reversed. The ace of two ones reversed. The ace of pentacles reversed. And these are both cards of manifestation. And both of them are reversed. So somebody may have tried to manifest something that was unreal, that wasn't realistic, that wasn't practical, that was an abuse of their power. Somebody may have misused their power. Somebody may have misused their power and now th there's a loss because the Ace of Pentacles reversed is a loss and it's a big one. And it could be financial loss as well. And the Ace of Pentacles reversed, a big, we got a big loss here. Somebody abused their power. Hmm. This is somebody that is very cunning and very clever. We have a very clever individual who has abused their power. Interesting. You know how that's probably one of my favorite words. Now this is powerless. Somebody is losing their power. Or they've lost their power already. Now, the magician in reverse could be, well, the hermit reversed. We def this is unawakened. We have an, una somebody may not wake up by morning light. This is unawakened and the hermit reversed is unawakened and this is morning light. I'm, I'm sorry. What the heck? 
this guy, it's nighttime. He's brooding. He's overanalyzing. Feeling powerless. Feeling a loss. A big loss. A huge loss. This person hasn't been awakened. They were not aware. They were living in that 3D. They were living in a different world, right? They were living in a painful existence by the looks of things. They may have been living in a, in a place that just wasn't happy. Like everything is crumbling now. It's like things come crashing down. Hmm. Ooh, Ace of Cups reversed. Now we have three ones reversed. Hmm. This is a loss of love. It's a it's a lack of love. It's a lack of uh, emotion. It's a loss of emotions. It's a f not feeling loved. We got somebody here that has probably lost a love. Or they're shutting down emotionally. There's no emotional content here. We definitely have somebody here that is really struggling with an ending. Okay, they're struggling with what has happened. It's like it's like maybe they're going through this transformation. They're going through this awakening and they're feeling the pain. They're feeling some sort of sadness over a difficult ending. But this sun card is an awakening of some sort. This is a this is this is enlightenment. It's enlightenment after a big loss by the looks of things, okay? Somebody has lost a real, solid, golden opportunity. They've lost it. Because they were not awake, because they were not aware. They were, didn't know. They didn't know what love was or something like that. The Ace of Cups reversed. And now this person is shutting down emotionally. And I think they're shutting down emotionally because it's probably it's too late. Maybe they're going through some sort of midlife crisis. I see loneliness here. I see loneliness. We have somebody here that is is feeling... Really sad and alone, whether they're in a relationship or not. They're feeling sad and alone because they, they're not with somebody that they love. They may have regrets even. Five of Cups reversed. Somebody is... <sighs> No longer focused on the past. We may have somebody here that has healed. They are no longer focused on the past. Because the sun is healed. Somebody has moved on. Somebody is seeing the light. Somebody is moving on from something that is emotionally unfulfilling for sure. They're done. They're done with the five of cups. Reverse. They are. It's like they don't need to focus on it. They don't need to keep going back and forth accepting this could also be prolonged grief but it could also be forgiveness hoping for forgiveness maybe we could have somebody here that is hoping for forgiveness it feels though we have like we have somebody here that is in, in a deep depression and I think this person is in a deep depression because they abused their power. And, and whoever they abused their power with has moved on. It's like this person doesn't care. It's like they don't care anymore. You abused me. You're dead to me. That kind of thing. So I feel like we have somebody here that is, has a lot of regrets over an ending that they caused. And they caused because they lied. They caused this ending because they lied, They because they manipulated, because they wanted to control. Whoever it is that they were trying to control gave up. It was like, you know what? I, no. 
Now, these the Ace of Pentacles reversed and the Magician reversed are both are both no's. Okay? No, no, no. These are both no's. So I think that, you know, somebody is getting a wake up call in regards to abusing, abuse, abusing their power. Whoever it is that left isn't coming back. Whew. Well, the tower. We all know what the tower is. This is a life change. This is an internal disruption. Ah. Be prepared. Be prepared for something to happen. This is an accident. This is the light being shed. This is an explosion. This is a shock. There is going to be a shocking event in the near future. Like I said, it is definitely going to be a shocking event. Something is going to happen that is going to cause an ending. Okay, this is this is an ending. You got to go someplace else. And it could have to do with the home. It could have to do with the home. It could have to do with your body. It could have to do with your own foundation. Something internally. There could be an explosion of some sort. And it's just like all of a sudden, you know, something blows. It's like, it's like, oh my God, this is a major destruction of some sort. It really is. It really is. It's like, wow, holy shit. Where did that come from? You know, that's what this is. It's like, wow, holy shit. It's like you're sitting it, you're sitting down and you're doing your paperwork or you're doing something and all of a sudden there's this explosion and the shit starts crumbling. It's like, wow. Wow. And this is this is all happening for a reason. Okay. This is happening because you have to make some sort of change. And you haven't been able to make that change for one reason or another. So the universe says, okay, we're gonna bring in this catastrophe, this disaster or whatever to force you to make this change. Um, this is a necessary evil that gives you the opportunity to start with a clean slate. So, yeah, there is going to be a major life change that is coming. It's going to be very disruptive, and it is going to, you're not even going to see it coming. This is something so drastic. It's like something hitting your house, okay, or something uh, in your house. you got to think about a house. Your body is your house, right? Your home is your house, something that surrounds you, your your soul, or whatever. Anyway, I feel as though there's a storm brewing. There is absolutely a storm brewing, and the and it's getting and the and the it's about to. Uh, it feels like it's like a it's like a tornado. It, it just comes out of nowhere. And all of a sudden, things are things are crazy, okay? This is like a tornado strikes, okay? Out of the middle of nowhere. You, you, you don't even see it coming. There's not even any warning signs, okay? There isn't. Oh, my goodness gracious. So, I feel... And this isn't something little. It's not... I know that this isn't something little. So, for those of you that watch this and think it's your bank account that got a little glitch, the answer is no. Okay? This is something big. This is definitely something big. I think we have somebody here that has been in a situation that was lacking um, emotional contentment. It was uh, lacking stability. It was lacking security. It was lacking um, happiness. And it's, this is a universe card. And the universe wants you to be happy. The universe wants, you know, extreme happiness. And if you can't find the strength to deal with your own demons, well, then sometimes you need that uh, tower moment. You need that destruction. You need that... Um, Whatever it is, that push, you need it. You need it. So they, they're, it's like they're bringing this in. This is a major disruption that somebody is about to experience. And this is, this is like, uh, 
I really feel like it's like it's going to be loud too. It feels like it's going to be loud. It's going to be like wow. You know, something just breaks. It just pops and it's like, "Oh my god." You know, there's I, I, somebody could scream cuz you know, I don't know. No, I'm sorry. But it just feels like this is a this is a uh rude awakening, put it that way. Okay? This is a rude awakening. Um there's a better opportunity for happiness and if you keep on lying to yourself if you keep on staying in this situation if you keep on refusing to be realistic you know then that's false anyhow um there is going to be a loss and it is going to be a big loss with this ace of pentacles and this ace of cups both reversed okay in the tower okay there's definitely absolutely positively going to be a loss and it could actually result in an actual passing away of somebody. And I have to say that because we have a few cards that that signify that here. Okay, so just, just keep that in mind. Um, it's like this person, it's like this holding on is getting old. This holding on is getting old. I'm, it's like it's, somebody may just give up or something like that. But I'm here to say that there's a better opportunity because the Five of Cups reverse is realizing that there's a better opportunity. This is on the path to recovery. Letting bygones be bygones. Deciding that, you know, it's time to live again. That is the sun card. This is deciding that it's time to live again. This is seeing the light. It's, it, this is an awakening. This is a rude awakening, and this is an awakening. So somebody is going to get a rude awakening that is going to wake them up and make them realize that there's a better opportunity. After they have been powerless... Okay, they've been powerless within themselves. It's like they couldn't find the strength. They couldn't find the resources within them to change. They could not with the magician reverse. They just couldn't. They were being unrealistic. But now this tower moment gives them that awakening that tr that forces them to change their direction. So yes, I mean, this is what's needed. So be prepared for something to happen. And I think it has to do, it's at home. You're at home. And all of a sudden, there's some sort of explosion or something like that that changes and everything and causes something to end, okay? Because the Ten of Swords is an ending. It's a death, okay? So it is a death. So there is something that is ending, and it's going to end uh, in a... I feel like it's a drastic manner. It's like, it's like holy shit. So get prepared, get prepared for, uh, whether you are on the outskirts and you are, or, and you are watching this happen to somebody else or whatever the case is, somebody is shutting down their emotions for a false commitment or a false sense of security that is no longer feasible in their lives. And they're shutting it down because the universe is, is pushing them to do so. It's like, you're not happy here. We can all see it. The uni everybody in the universe can see it. So let me help you. Let me help you. Deal with this pain that you have been avoiding. Good luck. <laughs>